Hello, I hope you're all doing okay. So today, I just wanted to sit here and chat with you about the stuff that I've been making. And these are the things that I've made in the past, I would say two years. Now, you would expect this to be so much stuff, but they're not really that much because whenever I make something and I don't like it, I'll undo and redo it again so that it can serve its purpose. I don't want to make a lot of stuff and end up not wearing them. So all of the pieces that I'm going to show you are the ones that I get to use every now and then. So let me begin with the very first piece that I made. I don't know why I, I didn't get to undo this i guess i'm just a little bit attached to this because this was my very first piece that i ever made that i ever crocheted it's just this tiny tiny top right now it doesn't really fit me it's too short <laughs> because right now it doesn't fit me well because it's too short but this was my first piece that i made okay the next thing that i want to show you is this shot that i made and this is my first shot that i ever made now this fits well it's just kind of small but it fits well it's comfortable it's just too short for me it's too short for me but it's very comfortable it fits well the only issue is that i didn't put the best ribbing here because I didn't really know about crochet that much so I put the ribbing that I knew how to make but right now I wouldn't use the same ribbing for the waistband but anyway other than that it fits well it looks good so this is one of my first shots let me see what i get to show you next okay since i was just talking about the short let me continue on that and show you something else i made and it's this blue shorts now this this i love this so much because it's very very comfortable and now after knowing about the ribbing and all <laughs> i use this slip stitch slip stitch in the back loop i use that ribbing and this i have no problem putting that on it just goes well and of course i have this to secure and it's the perfect length everything about this is just gorgeous i love this so much so after making the shorts I had some leftover yarn so I decided to make a matching top now this is what we have I think overall this is just a very cute top but I would make it a bit smaller because it's just a teeny tiny bit bigger so I don't really mind I still wear it but if I wanted it to be perfect I would make it a little bit smaller but it's still cute it looks so good i love it next is this short i made a tutorial on how to make this you can go check it out if you would like to make one i used this stitch that i just learned and i just wanted to try it out on a short because it looks like neat it looks like I've knit this short but it's crochet so I thought it was I thought the stitch was very interesting and I wanted to try it out on a short and I love it. It looks good, it fits well. I have nothing wrong to say about this. I just love it. It's perfect. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the short. I was trying to see if I can make a short on the central knitting machine 
And I think this was a success because it fits well. About the lens, I was making it for someone else, so they wanted a longer one. They didn't end up taking this shot because they wanted different colors. So I'll just make them another one. It fits so well. And also it's double. I mean, I use double layers of the panels. So it's heavy, it's thick, you can't even see through. It's just perfect, I love this. Because sometimes the panels on the central knitting machine tend to be a bit transparent, at least with the yarn that I use, it gets to be see-through. So with this, you are very secure. You can't, I mean, it's not see-through, you can work with this out there. This is just gorgeous. I love this. Okay, so now there's this dress that I made on the central knitting machine. Right now it doesn't really look like much, but once I put it on, it's so gorgeous. It looks so good and it's, it fits perfectly. It's just it's just a gorgeous gorgeous dress i made this on the central knitting machine and it was my first time making a dress so i was just figure i was just trying to figure things out and see how i would make a dress on that and i'm just happy with the end product i also have a tutorial on this if you'd like to make one you can go check it out but this, this is gorgeous. This, I'm happy with this. Love everything about this. Okay, so the next thing is this cat. I had this yarn and I really wanted to make something using only this yarn. I mean, without mixing it with different types of yarn. I decided to use that to make this card. This I made with you. I shared the process and I have nothing much to say about this card other than it fits well. The colors look so good. I don't even think the camera shows well these colors but the colors look good. I wish it was a bit longer than this, but anyway, it's not it's not a big deal. I can still wear it. I've worn it. So, yeah. This is good. It's not see-through. You can wear this outside. It's just okay. This cut is perfect. I have nothing wrong to say about this. Okay, the next thing is this top now i have a tutorial on this also if you would like to learn how to make this you can go check it out but this i made this using half double crochet and i used a really small hook so it took longer than expected but anyway i enjoyed making this so much it fits so well it's so cute i love this i love this so much i saw it on instagram i saw someone had crocheted a top similar to this and i just thought it looks so good on them and i wanted to try it out so i did this and i think it's so good i wear this all the time it's just amazing it's cute it fits well and that's really what i look for when i make something so this was a win the next is this white top it's also a simple simple top but i added some details here at the bottom just to make it look I also have a tutorial so you can go check it out if you want to make this but this was a cute top and just a simple very very simple and cute if you are just a beginner you are trying to 
learn how to crochet simple things this is one of them and it looks so good now this was also among the first tops that i made as you can see it's just a very simple top i have a mesh design here in the middle and i added some loops here to help secure at the back but it's just a simple simple top but i think it's gorgeous and the color is amazing actually the camera doesn't really capture the right color of this top but it's a very very vibrant green color it's not it's not neon green but it's a very vibrant color i love this it looks gorgeous too okay so the next top is this vest top that i made so someone was asking how i made this top and i made it as a continuous piece i was changed i joined it on the black color because that way you can't really see the seam so i would go back and forth but i joined it here on this black color now this is also one of the tops that i'm just happy with the end product it fits well it looks gorgeous i mean i have nothing wrong to say about this top everything is just amazing it looks good i'm happy with this let's move on to the next piece the next would be this top that i made on the central knitting machine and it was a very very simple top to make very easy because it's just like two panels the front and the back and then i tied here on the side for the joining i didn't i added some straps and it's done it looks so good very simple i shared the process if you'd like to go check that out but this was a very simple and cute top to make i love this next top still on the tops i think i made i find it easy to make tops so that's why i have many tops okay so the next top is this mesh vest top or however you want to call it so i had this just one ball of yarn that i wanted to use and it wouldn't really match with the other colors so i figured maybe if i made i used it to make something just small and mesh it would be enough and i think i made the right decision because this looks so good and these stitches just i'm in love with these stitches they look so good i love it so much and the best thing is it fits well and it looks good too so it was a very good decision to make this vest top okay i have two more tops and then we'll move on to sweaters the next thing that i want to talk about is this top when i hold it up like this it doesn't really look like much but once i put it on takes on the shape and it looks so good it's just a simple simple top and i also use the i use slip stitch and if you know that takes a very long time but i just wanted to make something using the slip stitch because it usually looks so good so i i decided to make a top with this and this i'm just so in love because it fits perfectly it fits well and also it stretches so right now it looks a bit small but once i put it on 
it stretches and it fits perfectly i'm just in love with that and also this color it looks so good this orange color it looks amazing so there's that and finally the final top this actually is the most recent thing that i made and i was just on pinterest scrolling and scrolling and i came across this top i just fell in love with it and i wanted to make one for myself and here it is also i had this gray yarn i thought it was a very very beautiful color and it would look good in these stitches and i also used the slip stitch back loop and i think it looks so cute and it fits well too so this was a win okay so the next thing that i want to show you is this cardigan that i made and initially i had used this yarn to make something else but i wasn't really happy with the outcome so i decided to make a long cardigan and i think this is what the yarn was meant for because this looks so good so i used four different squares granny squares if you would call it that and i finished off using single crochet several rows of single crochet and i think this just looks amazing it's the perfect length i'm just happy with the end product and this is the first time that i really tried to play around with i don't know if you can see how i arrange the squares because there are four different types of squares i had to figure out which square looks best where and it took it took me a while to complete this cardigan but i think the end product looks amazing the way i place the squares just fit wherever they are and it looks amazing i'm happy with this okay so since i just talked about that cardigan let me talk about the next cardigan so i bought this yarn to make this specific cardigan and i think i didn't purchase enough yarn for this and when i went back i didn't find the exact shade so i just decided to complete it with what i had at home and it's this gray yarn that i had used for a different project and i think the colors blend together very well this yarn is super super soft so this piece is very very warm and also i didn't make squares if you're curious about that i didn't make squares i made the front and the back panels only i would change colors as i go and when i was making this cardigan i didn't make different squares i just made the front the back and the two panels for the sleeves let's see what i have next so when i was making let me just try to find that short i can give you a back story so there's this stitch that i used to make this short i already showed you and i don't know what it is about this stitch but it looks so good and i just wanted to make a million other stuff with that stitch so <clears throat> i also made this cropped sweater but i used double strand yarn and as you can see it gives this sweater a very different feel and also the stitch you can see as you can see it looks like it's neat but it's crochet so that was very very interesting to me and 
I knew I had to make a million other stuff with it. So here's the other thing that I made. Apart from the short, I also made this cropped sweater. And this is a bit small. I mean, it still fits well, but it's just a bit small. So I tried it again. I made this using this yarn that is a bit chunky so the sweater is a bit bigger than this this still fits well it's still perfect but i just prefer this i love this more okay the next thing is this sweater that i have a tutorial if you would like that you can go check it out when i made this sweater it was a bit short so i decided to add just like five rows to to give it to give to add more length to this and now it fits properly i've worn this also so many times i don't know if you can see this is also one of the pieces that it's just super super comfortable and you want to wear it all the time so this that now let's talk about this sweater and this is my first sweater that i ever crocheted i made this using puff stitches as you can see i've worn this so many times because i made it like three years ago yeah I've been wearing this for three years. It still looks good, it's still intact. It's, it has not come apart or anything. I mean, this sweater, I'm just proud of this sweater. Whenever I wear it outside, people get to ask me, oh, this looks so good, where did you get it? You know, where did you buy this? And of course, I proudly say that I made it. So, you know, it looks, amazing it's gorgeous and also the color was the perfect choice i had just learned how to make puff stitches and it was really bold of me to try it on a sweater but i think it was the best decision because just look at this sweater it looks so good it's amazing i love it okay so now i have two more sweaters to talk about now there's this sweater that i made on the central knitting machine using scrap yarn and i just have to say this you've shown this sweater so much love and i'm very very grateful thank you so much for showing this piece the love that it deserves honestly this up to date this is one of my proudest pieces that I've made because I don't even know what to say. The seams look amazing. The colors, they blend together very, very well. The, the fit is just perfect. I mean, the finishing, gorgeous. Everything about this sweater, it just sparks joy and I'm just happy, super, super happy. With this piece and getting to see you guys show this love to seeing how amazing this piece is just gives me so much joy i'll stop now <laughs> let's move on to the final sweater that i get to show you today and it's this sweater that i also made on the central knitting machine now i saw the music video where how i was wearing the sweater and i was just like wait i have all of these colors i didn't want to waste any more time i just picked up the colors and i also shared the process with you guys and this fits well it looks good the colors look amazing I've worn this several times and I'm just still enjoying this piece. I use different yarns, but they all have almost the same texture. So it's so soft and very warm and I'm just happy with this. It's gorgeous. 
I love it so much. So now I'm done showing you pieces of clothing. I just have a few more pieces of things that I've made that I wanted to show you guys. So there's this, I would say, uh, throw blankets. I was just trying to learn how to make the this wavy stitch pattern, whatever. So I used some leftover yarn that I had. Three, there's two different shades of gray and the white color. So once I finished this, I was just happy with the way it looked and I knew I had to try making a bigger piece and so with that i decided to make this throw blanket that's now a bit realistic <laughs> and functional so here is what it looks like so if i can just come closer to show you that with this i use just simple double crochet to make this but I wanted to try something different with this throw blanket and as you can see we have a bit different stitches here and it looks so good and also the border that I decided to put here I think it was just the best decision because it brings everything together it encloses all of the colors and here it is I'll give you a better view of this, but this is what you get to see for now. And I have another blanket that I want to show you. I made this, I think I made this one year ago. Not really sure, but I think it's one year ago. This blanket is so huge. Let me just open it up. It's very, very big very long i was making it for a bed but it didn't really fit the way i wanted so i decided to use it in the living room and i think it's just perfect because when you're watching a movie or something and you just want to feel very very warm this is the perfect blanket to use it didn't fit the bed that i wanted but it still serves the purpose and it looks good it's amazing i mean these colors i use two different shades of yellow and then there's this brownish color and dark brown here light brown and dark brown and they just look amazing they look good together so i use this the darker colors here at the ends and then the bright colors in the middle as you can see it's just so big and it covers well it's amazing so now i've been talking and talking and talking i don't know i've never talked this long in a video wow okay so i have Two more things to show you and we'll be done because i've been talking for so long and one of the things is this rug i used to see people make those shaggy mats or shaggy rugs i don't know how to call them but that really made me want to make one for myself and i decided to make this i used this as a rug at the door and i don't even need someone to tell me how good this looks i just see it and i'm just proud of myself because this is amazing and also it's, it was my first time making a rug and i think i just nailed it because the pattern here is gorgeous i'm just happy 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 this happy with this and i just had to put it at the door so that whenever anyone comes to visit the, it's the first thing they see because it's so soft once someone just types on this i feel like it makes them feel comfortable so yeah that's why i decided to put this at the door okay so i have one more rug to show you 
and that's the rug that I use it here on the bedside so let me just get it as you can see it's fully functional because I'm just taking it from down here but it's this I also made this using scrap yarn so it's just a simple half double crochet I used half double crochet stitches so it's just a simple rug but I think the colors is what makes it look the colors are so vibrant so I love these colors together and I thought it would give some life here in the bedroom so that's why I decided to use it to make a rug but I'm just happy with the colors the colors they look amazing and also the tassels I think they look so pretty and I just had to use this method that I learned okay so that's the last piece that I had to show you but of course I've made so many other stuff I've made some table mats I've made some washcloths I've made I mean so many other different things but I just wanted to show you the clothing and the blankets and the rugs because those are the things that I have some of them I don't even have them because I made them for friends for family but this is what I have and I use them all the time some of them as you can see they're just worn out and I'm just happy with all of these pieces and I can't wait to create more because I feel like for the years that I've known how to crochet I should have made more pieces so that's what I'm trying to do this year I want to make more pieces and more pieces like this more pieces that spark so much joy like how this does so yeah those are the pieces that I've been making and I'm just and I'm just happy to share them with you let me know which was your favorite piece which you love the most if you want to see me because most of this I've not shown you how to make them if you want me to make a tutorial I'll do that for you so just let me know if you want me to teach you something tell me which was your favorite piece which piece did you like the most and I hope you enjoyed going through my pieces today like I did and I will see you in the next video bye bye